Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira beginners training course, I'm going to discuss about dashboards within Jira, why they are helpful and how you can go ahead and create and customize your own dashboard within Jira for your purpose and your personal tracking purpose and to see different reports. The other aspect of dashboard is if you are a scrum master or lead or manager, you might be required to create the project dashboard as well. So all of that you will learn in this particular video. So what exactly is the dashboard now in Jira if you go to more all right now because this is zoomed in so that's why you are seeing more and then you'll see dashboard here so if I zoom out a little bit you'll see dashboard like this right so if you go to dashboard and see view all dashboard so this is the default dashboard that your Jira instance will have now default dashboard or dashboard will have important information about your project now this is the default dashboard and dashboard will have certain snippets which will provide relevant information about the project right so you can say a quick info report about the health of the project what exactly is going on for example you see different gadgets assigned to me or activity stream what is happening in this particular project or the overall you know company or multiple projects for which that particular dashboard has been configured what all projects so it will give you a quick information about the project multiple project etc the way you configure it right now for you as an end user why exactly dashboard is important right so default dashboard as a user you won't be able to edit now because I'm the Jira administrator I'm getting this edit button here but mostly if you're working as a team member within the organization this will be disabled because you are not supposed to go ahead and edit default dashboard it's a work of Jira administrator okay but if you are a person who will be required to create a dashboard or edit you know a default dashboard you will have that edit access here as a user you can go ahead and create your own dashboard as well right so if I go ahead and click on dashboard I'll go view all dashboard I can click on create dashboard or from more here itself and click on dashboard I can click on create dashboard to create my own dashboard so if I go ahead and create a dashboard I can provide the name of the dashboard right so for example I'll say RCV Academy project dashboard okay so this is a dashboard specific to RCV Academy Say for example this is for ios project all right so as a lead as a manager as a person who's managing this particular project they can go ahead and create the dashboard provide the name provide the description of a particular project right and then you can go ahead and choose who is the viewer okay so you can either keep this particular dashboard as private or you can choose a particular project group the whole organization or some specific users right for example if i'm if i'm creating this for a particular project i'll select the viewers as project and select the project for which i am creating this and who all what all roles are allowed to view right so i'll say okay atlassian around users and then you have to basically click on this add in order to enable this right so i'll also say administrators right so that's how you basically go ahead and provide the view access to the dashboard that you are creating now editor i you can keep it to yourself or you can specify certain group of people who can edit it or certain user i can select user and i can say okay just give the edit right to this particular person apart from myself all right so once you are happy then you go ahead and click on save so as soon as you will save you will see that a dashboard layout got created all right now within this you can go ahead and add different gadgets you will see all the gadgets that are available there are available here that I can go ahead and add these right so I can say activity stream for this particular project I want to have it I'll go ahead and click and you will see activity stream got added there and then I can go ahead and configure basically you can see that all the activity that has happening in this particular project will be shown here right if I want to configure I can go ahead to the ellipses here and then click on configure to configure this particular gadget all right so if I go ahead and click on configure I can then limit the number of items there automatic refresh etc I can go ahead and update that okay then you have multiple other gadgets that you can add so you I can add a new gadget in here average age chart average time in status say for example right so I can go ahead and add another gadget in there 
and that gadget got added in in there so you'll see there is no filter that has been selected i can go ahead choose the filter in there if i want but let me choose the project okay so i'll select the project instead of fil filter the whole project and then simply go ahead and save it right so two of the gadgets have been configured so depending on what all information you need on this particular dashboard you can go ahead and select the gadgets that are available here okay so i'll choose another one and then you can also move these around right so move these gadgets around and configure the layout so i you can simply just hover over on these little icons here and then move these gadgets around to different spots that are available on this particular dashboard right so this is basically how you are going to create a dashboard and configure or add the gadget and then configure those gadgets let me close this so now let me save this i'll select the project okay so you have to make sure that you select the project in there and then configure all the settings that are there and then save it right so now you'll see this particular dashboard has been created and i can go ahead and add more gadgets okay it's not like i can have just these many gadgets i can add more gadgets if required on this particular dashboard but the ideal situation is keep it minimal and crux so that it displays all the relevant information that is required right not the just clutter of information because the main point of dashboard is that you have the relevant information available for the team members okay so i can go ahead and then change the layout as well i can do three columns in this particular dashboard i can do one left sidebar and main column or the right sidebar etc so accordingly the most popular one is this, this two column or three co three column layout once you are done then simply click on done and then you will see you have different other options you can rename or share so if you click on the right hand side ellipses you can copy you can configure automatic refresh of this particular dashboard or you can view it as a wall board so if i click on view as a wall board this is basically how this particular dashboard will look like all right let me go back then you can delete it because i have created it i can delete it if you haven't created it and you don't have the edit right or delete right you won't be able to get these options here then you can configure wallboard slideshow as well create a new dashboard and then view all dashboard will show you all the dashboards that are there so previously there was one dashboard this is the one that i created so this is available as well now this is for the project now as a user as well you can go ahead and create your own dashboards for your personal personal reference okay so you can go ahead and quickly see what all impo important information you want to have a look within the project for your work piece of work right so i can go ahead and as a user i can say this is my personal dashboard so i'll say my personal dashboard and i can keep is it as private because it's just for my reference as a as a user or as a project member i just want to keep it to myself and add the gadgets that are necessary or helpful for me to track my piece of work within the project right so i want to simply say assign to me very important right so i want to quickly check every day what all issues are assigned to me okay so i'll have this assigned to me all right and then average age chart you can add whatever is important for you as a team member to track the issues of you can go ahead and add those gadgets in your personal dashboard and keep it private to yourself so when you log in within jira okay if you are done with that so then you can go ahead and see your personal dashboard and see what all issues are assigned to me if there is any other gadget you want to add that is helpful for you to track keep track of the work add those gadgets and keep your dashboard handy so you can track your work very efficiently within your project okay so that's basically what exactly the dashboard are the project dashboard the personal dashboard you can create how you can share the dashboard with other team member as a viewer as an editor all of that has been covered in this particular video so that's all for this video on dashboard i hope this was helpful thank you see you in the next one